Hello, and welcome to the Combat Cast. It's been a while. It has been quite a while. We've been shooting GIFs out, talking about our latest balance patch. There's a lot coming. And that is what today is all about. Let's do a quick introduction real quickly. We got Derek. Hello, hello. Jen, as usual, say hello. Hello. And our special guest for a few minutes, Mr. If, if that. If that. Mr. Ed Boone is going to talk a little bit about what we did with the balance patch. Yes, I was, I was hoping to give a little bit of a, a, an introduction to it because there's going to be so much more detail that these guys are going to fill in, but I really wanted to kind of start with, um, you know, just a rough explanation of our, you know, philosophical approach towards um, this balance patch. The... Um, we are constantly, you know, listening to players, hearing, uh, you know, what, what, uh, you know, seeing what happens at tournaments and et cetera like that. And um, when we kind of set out to do this this balance patch, our kind of highest level goal was to take, um, imagine the top five characters or the perceived top five right. characters. It's all kind of subjective. And the bottom uh, five characters, or the perceived bottom five characters, and basically take that and move things towards the middle. You know, obviously, it, it's um, you know we want to get as close as possible to a completely balanced game, uh, but you know we really didn't want to do you know you know change so everything around so it's not even you know the same game anymore. We really wanted to just kind of take those kind of two extremes and move them towards the middle. And a lot of doing that uh, takes a lot of fine detail of which these guys are going to get into. But from that high level, we really wanted to make sure that everybody understood that that was our goal, really, to do that. Now, some changes were done to the uh, middle characters as well. And um, as, as these guys will point out to you also, uh, some of the changes that were done to the higher tier characters will affect the um, other characters just because of matchups and everything. A lot of, as everybody probably knows, a lot of what these uh, fighting games are about are matchups. So we really wanted to make sure that we, all the characters maintain their core, you know, strategy and fighting style and their identity, but, um, you know, kind of smushing things towards the middle and, um, you know, hoping that that is going to result in a uh, more balanced, more fun, uh, right. experience. Now, and you said also, like there, there will be some. We get, we see a lot of Twitter. We get a lot of tweets from yeah, people, yeah, yeah. and people like, "Where's my character gift? What's what's having my character?" Now, there are some characters who didn't get a lot of things directly to impact them. Yes, but but like you said, to the other characters. Yes, and we'll talk about at the beginning of our patch notes. There's a lot of universal changes we've implemented that will help a lot of those characters. Oh too. yeah, yeah, so, yeah. And that, and again, that's going to be some of the details. You know, these guys have a ton of. Great news, uh, basically, to tell you. Um, and, you know, the, the patch notes will be released soon. Yes. When, when get released? Well, we're going to try to... So after the stream is over, we're hoping, you know, after probably an hour stream, a little longer, sure. I hope to have it up by 5 Central, and we will tweet out a link on NetherRealm. You'll tweet it out, sure. I'll tweet it out, sure. you'll tweet it out, and you'll be able to read them in depth. Because obviously during this stream, we cannot get to everything. Exactly. And in the patch notes, we've gone very in depth, more so than we really ever have. Oh yeah. Into yeah. small, minute changes that you're going to want to see. Obviously, we're not going to be talking about two frames off of this. There's just exactly. no time for that. Exactly. But tonight, you guys can tear them apart all night because they'll be online. Yeah, exactly. So it's, it's, I just you know really wanted to kind of open with that, and then with that, we're going to. Um, Bring in um, Paul, yeah. and, Paul and Steve. We've got Paul and Steve here. Before we do that, we do something that's kind of cool. Yeah. Is that when you download the patch, because tomorrow the patch is live, along with, very important, Mortal Kombat then, XL on PC. Yeah, <gasps> yeah that was, that was a difficult thing for us to bite our tongues on for uh, oh, yeah. months. The of, amount of tweets uh, we got, of, we yeah, couldn't yeah, say a yeah, word. Yeah, we were listening, we just couldn't respond. And... We were smiling, but also kind of like, oh, I wish you could say something. Yeah, but it's coming yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. So with, everybody will be yes. together at the same time. With this patch yeah, exactly. as well. Exactly. But those on console, you know the mobile game. All the things you could do on yep. the mobile game to unlock on console. Skins, backgrounds, currency. Tons of stuff. All that stuff, when you download tomorrow, if you haven't played the mobile game, and we hope you have, because yes. a lot of people are, and it's great. And it's a lot of fun. You're going to get all of those for free right away. So with classic skins, yep. farmer, yeah. mine. I think the best way to do that. It's an embarrassment of riches, and how are we going to show them that? We have a video that's about 45 seconds of things unlocking. Yay! So, Jen, if you could hit that. Thank you very much, Ed. We're going right. to get into the nuts and bolts now. Okay.
All right. So Ooh, that was Ed Boone. Great to have him on the combat. I don't cast. know if you've heard of him. Kind right. of a big deal. Yep. And now we have some other guys. We got Paulo Garcia, one of our lead designers here Hello. at the Realm. And you know Steve Brownback, OSU 16 bit washed up tournament player. <laughs> Too much? No, it's that's fine. fine. That's fine. It's accurate. It's accurate, yeah. So, what we're going to talk about today is sort of what this patch is. It's a very big patch affecting a lot of characters and a lot of things throughout the game. Gameplay in general, yes. right? Uh, what we do want to say, too, is there'll be some questions. Like, we are going to continue to support this game. With our patches, if if something is you know if something happens through this, yep. we will continue looking at and continue listening to you to see you know what's going on with the game. That said, I want to give a quick shout out to Mr. Alex Valle, who Ooh. has great guy. Yes, whoever you've, you've ever met him, Alex is one of the nicest guys in the community. Absolutely, probably been in the community longer than anybody you know. He's outstanding. Let's let's be cool about it. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but he is running SCR, which is in about eleven days, something like yes. that. fourteen days, eleven to fourteen days. Which will be using this patch. So tomorrow, get on, start grinding. So thanks, Alex. And also, there's ten thousand dollars as a pop bonus at SCR. Let me add this as well, which we haven't talked about. Mm -hmm. We are continuing to sort support Mortal Kombat XL. There are a couple more big pop bonuses coming to tournaments that we have not named yet, Ooh. and we'll be announcing those in the coming weeks. Can so I guess some? It's it's actually kind of easy to guess at this point. Okay. So, okay. Okay. So no guessing. Um, I'll leave that out. Let's get started, huh? So, Paulo, just the first question, Ed kind of touched on it a little bit about uh, general philosophy from br bringing, kind of bringing everything back into the middle, making sure everything's kind of balanced as a balanced patch would. What was your philosophy going into this? A lot of it is just um, paying attention, like, what's going on with matches and then listening to the players. Like, a lot of people get frustrated and think that we're not, like, listening or watching the room, but we always are. It's just a matter of knowing when to do those changes. And we wanted to make sure that, like, the ESL Season 3 and EVO we didn't do something too close to those. So we wanted to make sure the game sat for a while. We wanted to watch what people were doing and, may, and to keep up with the patterns we were seeing and things. And then go from there. And I will say, when we say that we watch the games, I've walked into your office many times and he has like a... a Multi-screen, Twitch... Six cast of different Mortal Kombat... Whatever yeah. Mortal Kombat streams are running. Yeah, but it's even watch. looking at data. Like, anytime people are playing a game, there's data being collected on what's going on with matchups and stuff. Right. We just look at that raw data, too, because that's a lot of very informative. And then also just listening to the players directly. It's just, um, it's just a matter of filtering all that, all that information and figuring right. out where to go from there. And about every 20 minutes, I hear, Polo, the ice clone! Like, I, I usually hear right. that, absolutely, yeah. So we, we're definitely looking at all that sort of stuff, you know, kind of pulling emotion out of it and just figuring out what's really best for the game. Yeah. Um, so let's, I guess, first discuss something that's kind of going to affect everybody. Uh, let's just discuss some uh, general gameplay changes. Um, so a lot of it is um, when you uh, when you start running, now it costs a little more for you to initially start running. So before it cost like 15 of your uh, energy top, bar at the top, where now it costs 25. Um, so just initially starting running will cost a little bit more of a bar. Um, another thing is if you get hit while you're running, it'll it'll eat up half of your energy. So if I'm running at him and it hits me, it'll eat up half the bar of energy. So a lot of times if you're trying to run and advance in and you get, and you get punished or countered for it, um, You'll, you'll end up taking some of your stamina away, and it's going to be longer before you can break. So that's good for like people who are trying to pressure you super hard. If you're able to read that and stop the pressure, yeah. you put them at a pretty significant disadvantage. Yeah, and that also affects like um, like characters that rely off of run cancels, dash cancels. That'll bring them down a little bit too. Where it would not affect your general overall gameplay. Okay, Steve. Yeah, it's it's basically a way to make you think a little bit harder before you just run in and begin your offense, just a little bit. Okay. Cool. And that'll affect you know a character like Cassie who uses run and a lot of her combos, and any character that has really really good offense and uses run in their combos, you know. You'll be a little more careful, right? And like Polo said, you know you have to use your resources to break. So if you start off running and you get hit and you need to break, it's longer you have to go before you can break. So it's just it adds a little bit more risk to running in. Gotcha. Excellent. Uh, moving on to some other, uh, we got some air attack changes. Yeah, so um, um, a lot of times when you do your jumping attacks, um, the area that you can be hit on, like your people call it the hurt box, that area actually gets bigger, um, and it's and it's usually done it. But now it actually gets bigger one frame before your attack actually can hit. So a lot of times, if somebody's gonna reading that you jump in and they go to attack you, they have a they'll have a higher chance to to, to succeed with their anti air if they time it correctly. Okay. Um, also, uh, there's a lot of down twos that have been... Uh, yeah, in general we made sure that all the uppercuts were at least um, a consistent speed and, and, we, and we sped up some um, and also there were some um, hitbox adjustments on ones that we felt just didn't have the same amount of reach as other ones. Okay, excellent. Um, what else we got here? Uh, delayed wake-ups. Yeah, discuss the delayed wake-up. Uh, I just want to let Steve explain. 
the delayed wake up will no longer work if you're holding the block button. So this will make it easier to do like a wake up come loud teleport or a wake up move that uses down up because it will no longer get you confused. Yeah, well, the same thing with um, trying to do a uh, enhanced move on wake up. If you're if you're sloppy with your inputs where you go down and block, and sometimes you'll you'll get a late wake up. So now if you're doing your inputs correctly, they'll they'll come out more consistently. I've seen, I've never had the problem because I'm not sloppy with my inputs. Yeah, I'm very, I'm you're very perfect. Exact. When you you're think perfect. of Tyler Williams, you think clean, precise play. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Execution. Right. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's been some changes in armor, which I guess some of the gifts we sent out mm -hmm. kind of touched on. So we want to talk about that. This is kind of a pretty interesting change. Yeah, like overall, this it seemed like um, characters either had one armored one armored move that was way better than the other move. So we generally try to make it where everybody's armor. Uh, we wanted to sort of even the playing field a lot of them. So a lot of people that had armored moves that were like special moves that um, would start combos. So those a lot of them either don't have armor or don't start combos anymore. The same thing with other moves which were. They had armor, but they weren't really that useful. They just gave you some damage. Those lot, those will either have be more plus on block, do more damage, or some of them have two hits of armor now. Um, and, and that'll be covered in general patch notes. And there was a good deal of those, but um, a lot of it was just making the armors more play on the same playing field. Okay. Uh, and just one, this is sort of a normal it's been a normalization, a word we like to use, of moves that were extremely advantageous. Yeah, and some of it was just a lot of times you felt like your character was stuck in block longer than he should have. So a lot of times you try to make it where there's still the same amount of block advantage, so the attacker will get out at the same time as the defender, but but we want to make sure that you just didn't feel like you were stuck in block. And there was, there was a lot of those, like Koto's like Sword Sweep was one where you felt like you were you were stuck there forever, where now both of them recover a little bit quicker, just to make the pacing the game feel a little bit faster. Okay. And um, there were a lot of EX moves that would leave you at double, double digit block advantage, like plus 12 on block. Or there were some normal attacks that would leave you at plus 10 on block or something like that, and they've been slightly scaled down, yeah. which you'll see throughout the patch notes. Like maybe something that used to be plus 10 might only be plus 4 now or something. Yeah, and some other ones uh, to the reverse got better, where there was some, right. there were some well, like armor moves before where before there was, there wasn't really a reason to use them, now some of those are more plus on block. Excellent. Awesome. Okay, so here's how we're going to work through this. We have a bunch of character matchups we're going to go through. Now keep in mind, there are three variations per character. We literally can't do everything, so we're going to show some of the the stuff that's easier to see. Now, your characters are, st are still going to get some things that will help your character, or in some places hurt your character, but you'll have to read those in the patch notes. We're going to show you the stuff that's very easy to kind of go through and see. And the first matchup we have selected is Tarkatan Alien, Ooh. As, the as the cheers erupt from yeah! the chat, uh, versus Patrick Kung Lao. So let's uh, talk about what we're going to show here with Alien. Let's start with Alien. Well, the first thing is we normalize the tail flip. It is now minus 10 on block for the regular one. Oh, I can so hear people cheering. You can, get hear, a I can actually hear it. And the, the hitbox of it has been adjusted to not be the whole tail. You kind of have to hit them with your feet, you can see. And that applies to the air one. And then the EX one is made minus 28, I believe. So it's, it's going to be a little bit easier to punish. Sometimes in tournament, it was kind of hard to punish, even though it was always punishable. Now. There's no excuse not to get the punish. And uh, like a lot of the armored launchers, it does not have armor, the EX-1. It's still an overhead, so it's still a great move, but uh, you'll have to use his other armored moves if you want to you know, get out of pressure. Okay, great. And uh, like Tarkatan, for example, the uh, his uh, enhanced uh, chop chop move, that one is two its armor. So there are like certain setups like Tony and stuff, like the where he won't be able to get up. If you pick Tarkatan Alien, he's got a unique uh, two hit armored special move, so there'll be a reason to pick that variation. And we're going to see that a lot through a lot of the characters. Yeah. And this is a perfect example of a move that previously was kind of redundant. Like, why would you not do the EX tail flip? Right. It's now split across where you do the tail flip if you want the overhead and the range. You do chop chop shop if you want, you know, to get off to get off me, yeah. stop the pressure thing. So it's just expanding their move list, kind of giving each thing a different reason to be used. I have something also uh, a slower forward form. Yes, the 4-4 is a couple of frames slower, and the hit advantage on some of the special moves has changed, like his pounce. I think it's now, uh, I don't know. So you don't need to give the exact numbers, Steve. We're not going to give a lot of numbers. We we tail flip, get this. Uh, the tail flip, up. a couple of his moves had obscene amount of hit advantage before, like he could really run up and start doing his pressure, and it's now been slightly normalized. Yeah, it's more on par with Rosa here. Right, awesome. the, the Rekkas as well. The Rekkas, a big change is you can no longer delay the regular series of moves. You have to just do them, you know, 
one, two, three, and there's no delay at all. He still has the guessing game at the end between the grab, the low, and the overhead, but you can all under do only two hits and then jump over them, or only do one hit and staggering it. If he wants to delay, he has to e exit. Yeah, okay. and, the, and the enhanced one can still be delayed, and okay. it still has the advantage and stuff. Gotcha. Awesome. Let's discuss. Kong Lao! Well, there's an acidic change too. Oh, okay. Uh, the dot damage on acidic has been adjusted. Like, yeah, some of it was, um, there was there were a uh, couple of the moves that were stacking the dot um, more than it should have, so those are stacking it more on par with everything else. So you'll see less damage overall, but it still does stack and it still does do a decent amount of damage. Okay. It's just a matter of not overly stacking like it was. And the self-cut, when he cut himself, it used to only do 1% to him, it now does 3 for the regular and the EX. So his self-cut is still a great move, especially when you're in the corner, but now it's going to hurt him a little bit more than it did before. Now it's something you actually probably need to think about because it'll let you know if you do two cuts that's six percent he's hurt himself yeah I, I tried to petition to make the ex do 50 percent and paula was not happy that would so. a little too be much. extreme yeah. that's why i don't balance your design names everybody <laughs> uh kung lao uh, we're gonna do hat trick a lot of people uh a lot of to kind of learn more about hat trick a lot of people ask for buffs for hat trick so what we got going on um a lot of it was just uh cleaning up the um the speed and hitboxes and a lot of the uh, hat calls so now it'll they come back at a consistent speed, and the, and the speed which is, which he recovers from the opponent is the same. So that should make a lot of the combos a lot easier to do. You won't have to do as much as like improv on the spot. It'll it'll generally make getting combos off whenever you do uh, successfully hit somebody with the hat trick throw. You can get your combo more consistently now. Awesome, good. Um, and then Kung Lao's um, his the enhanced teleport is a lot quicker, and uh, it's it's his uh, it's his current like only arm removal than most of the variations. So like right now, there's no more armor on the EX spin because that's one of the fastest moves in the game. But but the uh, enhanced teleport has armor on it, and um, that move is actually very quick now. Um, and and because of the uh, delayed wake up and other adjustments, it's a lot easier to get off now. And then, um, we also open up the window on uh, the down up moves so that the uh, info window is a little bigger. So that should make his and Goro's a little easier to do also. Awesome. Another thing about Kung Lao is uh, Paulo went through a lot of his normal attacks that were kind of slow or the reward wasn't that great on hit, or they were punishable, and uh, really like clean them up. Like his four, two, one, down one, all three hits are now safe, so that'll be a great, great stagger string. His back one is now seven frames startup, but it's a high, but the, the whole string now comes out a lot faster. His four, three, down three has changed on hit and block. I think the last hit's now advantage, but uh, it's a high now, so. His uh, his offense should be a lot more interesting. There should be like three or four new moves that you can really use that weren't really that useful before that have now opened up. Yeah, awesome. and because of a lot of the armor changes, there were a lot of strings that, because they have gaps in the stuff, people didn't want to use them a lot. But a lot of those gaps now are, aren't, aren't as much a disadvantage to you. So it'll be a lot more used to use some of those strings. Awesome. And it'll be more of a guessing game with guy whether or not he wants to use his arm to get through it or back dash or just why. Okay. So uh, a couple fan favorites. Let's try out uh, Demolition Sonia. And oh, Kenshi. and Buzzsaw. Um, all the Buzzsaws now do a little bit more damage, and the EX overhead one now hits overhead when it comes down. Awesome. Yeah, and it's generally easier to combo if you get somebody with, like, um, if you throw an upward Buzzsaw and they, they jump into it, or if they, if they get hit airborne out of a regular Buzzsaw, you can actually get that kick more consistently now to be able to, like, improv combos with Buzzsaw just by trying to zone somebody out. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, moving on to uh, Sonya. Demo Sonya. Sonya Blade. Balanced Kenshi. Yeah, we saw a uh, diff of the balanced Kenshi we changes. We did. Awesome. So Sonya, Demolition Sonya is a good example of, I think, uh, of a philosophy to tone down offense just a notch or two. Uh, in this regard, it would be to uh, the reward. So now she can only use one of each type of grenade in a combo. So you can use a stun grenade and then you are disabled from using another stun grenade in the same combo. But, you can still use... Oh, you can still have negative edge on and get that. <laughs> you can use the explosive rocket to get a second rocket in your combo. What do you mean, rocket or grenade? We've changed all grenades oh, to rockets. That's a patch. <laughs> yeah, so the actual overall damage she gets isn't that much isn't that much lower. It's just a matter of the other guy's not gonna be stuck in the 20 second combo. Right. So uh, we wanna make sure that uh, you just weren't stuck in super long combos where the damage you still get is pretty comparable. It's a little bit lower, but but a lot of it she still has the the getting the grenades out, um, going to a higher low with a lot of her stuff. 
um, and with, with grenades out. That's that's the general game plan. But we just wanted to tone down the overall just combos that were doing a little bit of too much damage, and also they just took too long. Right. Right. So it's it's a good example of the philosophy of not completely changing the way she plays, but just making it just a, a notch less good reward. The other thing is her back one is now significant, significantly slower. It now starts at 19 frames, and the gap between back one and four is now bigger. So previously the idea was you could armor through, but like at max range or in the heat of battle, it was very, very difficult to armor through that gap. It's now gonna be a little bit easier. So you can kind of see that you blocked the back one and then do a reversal to counter the back one four. Cool. Yeah, let Paula play too, come on. I'm gonna run through some uh, some Kenshi changes with the, the balanced variety. Um, yeah, so in balance, the uh, shoulder charge is um, it's safer on block, especially from like medium and, 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 um, and like a little bit distances out. The EX shoulder charge is, is is actually advantage on block, so you can use it as sort of a boot to to enter strings into that when the guy's blocking, and then and then sort of get away or choose to apply more pressure. Um, his overhead slash um, will now go. Uh, uh, Juggle the guy up for a combo, so well, whether or not you can do it up close in strings, or if you're just sitting back and um, keeping the guy away with shoulder charges, dropping overhead on him, you drop an enhanced one, you're gonna get some damage. So you can mix that with the teleflurry and stuff. It's just general, it, it just lets him do a, a little bit more damage and improve some of his keep away game. Okay. Right, because previously the idea is the Kenshi players would like to zone you with the teleflurry, but then the trick to that is you can duck it. So then you do the overhead slash, but the reward wasn't that great. So then you do the shoulder, but on block, that's punishable. Now the EX shoulder will actually be advantage, so you can press it, and then the reward for the overhead strike is a pretty decent amount of damage because now it's in combo. And that also helps him up close, because in the video we showed, he just did the teleflurry for 19%. Up close, you can do a full juicy combo with that EX overhead. Yeah, you can, you can run up forward too, so you can actually convert some decent damage from around mid-screen or, or closer. Have you seen some PPJ swag on yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Kenshi is one of the higher damaging characters in the game. And uh, he also, like Kung Lao, a lot of his normals were kind of switched around. I think his, uh, is it his back two? Now recovers better. His forward four is now more advantage on block by a little bit. Uh, his EX, Rising Karma, is now safe on block, but it no longer has the armor. Yeah, this generally lets you just, so, just sort of like play your game, and then and then he'll, he'll still rely on, 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 on meters, uh, but just it's just figuring out where to spend your meter, as opposed to just throwing that out trying to reversal something. Cool. Um, so that covers all the new moves that are plus on block? Uh, there's probably more to come. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh sorry. Not to come. sorry guys, sorry guys. Uh, and is there any other variation changes to either of these characters that you guys kind of want to go over? Like, Yeah, uh, like that? in Kenjutsu, the EX sword, the down back one, the sword uppercut move, mm -hmm. no longer has armor, like most of the armored pop-ups. But the big change is it's now safe on block, it's minus seven. Which means if you choose to use the bar, Kenshi has a safe on block 50-50 launcher because you can do 4-2 in the EX sword. But he has to use the resources. So it's kind of the, the, the gambit between do I think you're not going to block correctly and use the bar or not. And then um, his armored push now has two hits of armor. Okay. So you can see that's just another example you'll see in the patch notes come out where some armor has been removed but like Paulo said uh, some of the armor moves that weren't that great before have been buffed. Awesome. Cool. Alright. So let's move on. Uh, this is going for you and you'll enjoy this one. Royal Storm Katana, and Cryomancer Sub-Zero. Now a lot of people saw in our, our GIF situation mm -hmm. that Cryomancer now has a command drive. Is this the truth? That GIF was about a second long. How would you figure that out? Well, everyone on... I didn't actually see a grab. Oh, no, it, it is. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. A lot of people think they know exactly what happens and why he's now the best character in the game. Right. Yes. <laughs> so. I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of people saw those GIFs and they knew exactly how what all the changes were. Okay. So now in Cryomancer, if you go to do the uh, the string you had before it went to grab, it'll do the same one as the other variations. And the grab that used to be in there is actually now a standalone special move. And from there, you can go into the other special. So if you grab bar, um, you can go in and get it, take some combos. Overall, that move does less damage by itself, so it's not super damaging, but it's just a matter of being able to mix in that grab with the stuff makes the Chromancer his most offensive variation, which which is what is what it was always intended to be. Um, and, it, and it's got a few like uh, tick throw setups and stuff in there. So it generally meant to be Chromancer's the get in your face of zero, whereas the like unbreakables will run away with the clone. Um, sort of differentiates the two and it gives reason to play the other two variations. And to complement that, his forward one string has also been changed. Yeah, it's a little quicker. Um, so it's so it's still it's a little quicker of like a, a faster mid. 
um, to use the train. Um, and then from, from the forward one, two, you can actually take throw off of that. And there's down one and uh, down three, you've gotten a little better too. Awesome. And uh, in Unbreakable, the parry has now had a, a significant recovery buff. It now recovers a lot faster, especially the EX1. Yeah, the X1 covers, um, um, I believe it was, only like, it was only like five frames of recovery afterwards. So it's actually very hard to punish that one. Yeah. And the same thing with the regular one. So you can sort of just throw out the Drake now a lot more often. And, and, um, and because of um, uh, changes with armor, when he has the aura up, he still keeps the enhanced slide having armor and it still ends up being a launcher. So it's one of the few examples in the game where there still is an armored launcher, but it's, it's in uh, Unbreakable Sub-Zero and it's only when it's the aura up. And I think that's a good example of what Ed was saying, where... Uh, you know, Paula wanted to be careful about buffing some of the mid-tier or the lesser-used characters because when you bring the top tier down or when you change the mechanics of the game, what used to be average becomes exceptional. So Sub-Zero, when he had the buff up, the slide launching you, that was kind of a neat trick before. It was kind of a fun gimmick. That is now one of the only armored launchers in the game. So that's like a, what, 10-frame or 9-frame armored launcher. So that's now one of the best armor moves in the game. Not because we changed it, but because we left it the same. Yeah. So that's like a key example of that. Okay. I got a, I got a friend named Tan that and no matter what we tweet, he will respond, buff unbreakable. It could be like, hey, have a great day. Mm -hmm. Hey, buff unbreakable. So now he actually, we, we've got some good changes in there for him as well. In my opinion, whiffed counter and the EX counter is now a legit strategy that I would use in <laughs> tournament if I played Sub-Zero. I would do it. Awesome. Speaking of something you did play in tournament. <laughs> uh, Katana? Her back two is sped up to be 18 frames instead of 25. It still only does a little damage and knocks you down, so it's you know it's not the greatest overhead in the world, but it's probably unreactable now, so that's a really nice buff for her. Uh, off her float, she can do angle jump in, like she can do forward, jump in, punch, and back, which is kind of the same thing we did for Shinnok. And, uh, someone else got that. Kenshi. Kenshi, right. So that puts it in line with that. Um, her throat slit EX is now actually safe on block, now has more pushback. A lot of pushback. I think it's minus nine or something like that now. So um, it's kind of a, a low risk, low reward armor move. Um, another change is there's more pushback on this, so it's better as a zoning tool. And her fans do 1% more damage. But then the big thing is uh, she can no longer combo off her EX Rising fan normally. She can't just do a special move. She can only do an EX move. So we've added an EX Air Fan and an EX Float. The Princess Flutter. And that'll let her use it. So the idea is she's one of the few characters in the game that will have an armored launcher, but she has to use two bars to do it. So she has new moves. Essentially, yeah, yeah. Her new, sort and, of. And, and those two enhanced moves only come out out of the float. So they're not moves you do generally. Right. Just like from, you, the, from, the, uh, from the uppercut, you can then go into the enhanced float or the enhanced uh, ear fan toss. So that's cool. big. Yeah, it's a big deal because that's exactly what I was just saying, where that's now exceptional. Even though she has to use bars, that's still a great, great defensive tool. So her zoning is a little bit better. Her footsies are a little bit better because of the range, you know, the pushback on the lift. And now her defense is better with safer armor and then the ability to use two bars to get a combo. Awesome. And uh, the, the additional damage also applies to Morphle. The Glaive Dow does uh, extra damage too. And she can do the EX Glaive from uh, the Rising Fans as well. Cool. Excellent. We want to take a quick break to handle a technical issue real quickly. To hit the starting suit screen for me there, Jen. We'll be back in about probably two minutes.
Lena. Takeda. All right, here we are again. Sorry about that. Just gonna lower the camera, kind of get it a little closer. In well, on I've been here. working on my core. I wanted yes. to show that off on the camera. I have not. Um, so we got a character that's near and dear to your heart. We got oh. Melina coming up. Oh, I and love her. Takeda. So let's, and just so you know, real quick, we're gonna go through these matchups, and then we're gonna go back to the character selector and just kind of talk about a few other characters. Yep. We'll go through that way, okay? So, <clears throat> so, um, Melina. Let's uh, let's go ahead and get into it, guys. Well, the big thing is her back one, both in piercing and in no no variation, is now a high attack. Okay. It's actually been sped up, but uh, yeah, it's now high to give people a better chance to kind of poke back. Before, she kind of dominated this mid-range game, but now the opponent will be able to do the, they're down four, they're down three. Sure. A little bit easier. Yeah, some of that will open up her moveset where there's reason to use other buttons. And because it's actually faster, she can actually use it as more of like a guaranteed punishment after some moves, or sometimes she had trouble punishing and stuff around like the 9 to 10 frame range. And it'll also give her, make it easier to jail somebody after a lot of her things that you standing that I can jail with the back one. Um, it's it's a lot pressure, and then same thing with going into the low side. So after we put out the GIF, right, people were like, oh my gosh, you're not allowed to combo off the normal ball anymore. Right. What can can you explain or show us what's going that seems on? Seems like there? random conjecture. It seems yeah. like just stuff people are making up. Yeah, it turns oh. out that wasn't the case at all. <sighs> the actual GIF was about EX roll. So this is EX roll normally now. Yeah. She oh. does not get a combo. So you do not get a combo. It's still an overhead. It's still pretty good damage, but you do not get a combo. It still has armor. Right. So it kind of follows the new rules that we're kind yes. of going with. But similar to her sister, she can now. Meter burn it and roll backwards. So for two bars, you still get your combo. Yeah, her ugly stepsister, you're right. And then moving on. Damn. <laughs> just saying, I'm just okay, saying. Okay, okay, that's okay. Pretty, that's, that's rough. I'm throwing it out there. Uh, what else? Is that all we got from Melina? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Uh, she has some dance, she has some overall uh, combo damage scaling changes where it'll bring down the overall combos a little bit, but it's, it still does comparable damage. It's something in the small percentages, but it just it'll it'll keep the higher combos that are in the 50 ranges and bring them down a little bit. Oh, sure. Takeda. Takeda? I call I say Takeda. Takeda, what do you say? Takeda. Am I the yeah. one who says Takeda? No, I say Takeda. Okay, cool. Well, that's <laughs> the only thing we patch is how we pronounce the name. All right, moving on. So, uh, we, what do we got here, guys? Uh, uh, so this is another one where his back two overhead is a, a little bit slower startup. It should be a little bit easier to see it coming and react to it. Um, when he has the... Uh, I can't figure out how to even drop the blade. He's got the blade out. When you do the quick call, um, it still recovers very quickly and the combos are still the same. But if the opponent's blocking, there's some additional recovery frames in there. If you do the quick call while the opponent's in blocking, blocks time. We would have had to change the name if it was no longer quick call. Yeah, it's yeah. still pretty quick. It's just not as quick if the opponent's blocking. Sure. Now that it's Great. <laughs> well, we weren't going to make it slow call. No. Right. No, 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 it's no. not going to be called slow call. Right. We're going to just make call. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Uh, and of course, like we said, there's definitely some other things you'll yeah, see. Yeah, there were some hitbox adjustments, like things on like his back one. It has a little bit less range. So it, there, there were a couple of instances where there were some characters where he could keep locked down in the corner, where now it, you'll be pushed back a little bit after after one loop of it. And so, stuff like that's been done generally across the board other characters, too. And uh, in his other variations, his tri kunai block stun has been changed a little bit. Um, so he won't get guaranteed, like, forward one and stuff off of it. And... Uh, and some of those, like, people think that those are going to be drastic changes now where it's going to be sort of a gamble for you to go on your offense. But because of all the other overall armor changes, it sort of balances itself out. But it makes the game a lot more even where it's a lot more of just knowing what your opponent's going to do and feeling out your opponent. Right, like, he'll still be an advantage on these quick call mix-ups. But they can armor now, but if he reads the army, he can punish it. And if he's wrong, the reward for their armor won't be as strong. And uh, another one is... He's another character that had launching armor that he can now use two bars to do it. So his back forward two, yeah, it's a little under launch. Yeah, but it doesn't launch normally the EX. But you can still go and enhance the enhanced move already. So you can like double spend your meter and just still get a combo. So there's a few exception characters that can do, that can get like armored moves that can get off, but then it'll take two bars to do it. And some of his combo damage has been brought down a little bit too. So you don't get as much damage overall for it. So, so yeah. you can meter burn some EXs now to get a pop-up yeah. or follow-up right. combo. We'll see some more of those later, too. Absolutely. Uh, next one, this will be a fun one for everybody. Kung Jin. And Bo Raicho. And Bo Raicho. Uh, Dragon's Bo Breath Raicho. and Shaolin. I saw a lot of people calling for some Shaolin buffs. Did, that, did this happen? I think I saw one person. Yeah, yeah. okay, it really was, was one person, yeah. but I follow him, so I was and like, okay. Yeah. yeah, okay, yes, you're right. All right. Sorry. Try to be, you know. 
sneaky about it. Yeah, it um, similar to other characters that had a really, really fast overhead, it's been slowed down a little bit. And um, for Shaolin, uh, one of the big changes is the damage and the block stun on his up flip and the drop. Before, you'd see a lot of just doing overhead or low into this constantly, and there wasn't a lot to do about it. There wasn't a lot you could do about it. So uh, one of the things we did is if he does not delay it, if he just does it as fast as possible, it will now be pretty easy to punish. Any character they need could just go for a punish. But if you delay it, it will be go back to being safe, but then they can armor through it. Or you could just do this by itself, which is punishable. So there's like three different layers of a guessing game. So it's more of instead of coming to just do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Now they have to think a little bit about what they're going to do, and you have to think about what they're going to do. So Tyler does the non-delay, and I punish it, but then he goes for the delay, but I wasn't ready, so I didn't armor the gap, and then back and forth, and there's many Yomi layers there. It's what? like level I, seven. Why did you bring me up when it comes to Kung Did you guys actually do this before? No, I'm usually the one playing Kung Jin. All right, sure. all right. Mm. Interesting. And in Gojitsu, you'll see a lot of little fun changes, too. Like, um, the EX SWAT doesn't have armor anymore, but like Paula was saying, some of those EX moves have now been buffed another way, so it's now actually advantage on block. I think it's plus three or something like that. Yeah, it's got very slow startup, so there's a gap where they could where they can go uh, and uh, backdash out of it or try to use their own armor to get through it. But because of a lot of the strings where you can start with the over to the low, he can now go into that move and it'll be plus a block, but there's a gap there. So it, it gives a little bit more of a guessing game, and then it should help some characters be able to defend against it. And then in Ancestral, um, pretty much all the arrows have a... Uh, been improved. Yeah, there's um increased uh, block stun on most of them and pushback, especially on the flame arrows. So he'll be able to like sort of use the arrows to keep people out and um, and then um, and also Ancestral actually had some decent uh, combo damage and it still is keeping most of that combo damage. And then there's been some some combo damage reduction that Wojutsu and um, and uh, Shaolin. So it should bring its three variations more on par with each other. Oh, awesome. Uh, now I will say this: I did get a lot of tweets about Boraicho. Would you agree with that? Yes, Master Boraicho. Master of Combat? That's Goro. That's, no, he actually, his bio says, Boraicho, Master of Combat. Well, Learn the, the damn game, Tyler! Bo right? Goro's Master of Combat? Why can't there be two Masters of Combat? I think Goro lose to Law. Okay, you know what, let's... Goro lost to Liu Kang in canon, who was trained by known Master Boraicho. You know what I gotta take? I gotta hold that. He yeah. out lost to Liu Kang, but Boraicho's the Master of Combat. Weird, right? He's a Master, man! Let's see what he does now. Oh, uh, the thing about Boroicho is his offense was always great. I don't think anyone really disputes that. When he gets you in the corner and he starts going in, it's very overwhelming. Very, very good stuff. But, Dropping that gas. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, the meaty he starts doing the meaty farts and the ignited farts. <laughs> and he can really open you up. But he kind of struggled against zoning. So we wanted to give him a little bit of help against that. He can now use his dragon breath thing and absorb oh. a fireball. And then in Bartitsu, you saw in the GIF we tweeted that the little spinning cane will blow up projectiles too. And this works against almost every projectile in the game. Yeah, even some enhanced ones and even some bigger projectiles. Um, and so in general, you can sort of just, uh, and this move recovers a little quicker too, so you can sort of just whip it out to sort of build meter by just like trying to like dance around and play your opponent and then and then pick your spots to get in. His forward dash is a little bit quicker now. We recover some frames faster than most other ones. It's actually one of the faster ones in the game. Same thing with his back dash. It recovers a little quicker. So you can, uh, if he's trying to uh, back us out of your gaps, he'll actually be, a lot of times we recovered safe enough to actually punish back. Um, and the same thing with his run into starts up uh, a few more frames faster than it did before, so you can sort of get in. So it sort of lets you pick your spots to get in. And then once you get in, his offense is still the same as it was, which was really good. It's like I bo-capped his running. That's what it looks like to me. It does, yeah. You're right. Although I don't think anybody's ever seen you run, I believe you. Yeah. yeah and and um, there were a lot of like just general bug fixes, like um, if you uh, if you did the, the cast move and it hit the opponent on the last frame, uh, they were actually able to block. So there was actually like a, a bunch of like small bug fixes here and there that, that should help characters out too. Um, and some of those are covered in the patch notes. Awesome. Um, let's move on to, we got, uh, this will be a fun one. One of my favorites, and one of my least favorites to fight against. Shinhawk. Shinhawk and Cage. Which is which? Uh, we're going to do a No, which one do you hate to fight against? Oh, oh right. I like Cage, I don't like fighting against Okay, there you go. <laughs> I'm going to say this right now on stream. I, when I go to the ESL events, I've played against a ton of the top players, you know? Mm -hmm. Haven't done, I mean, I've taken some rounds, maybe a couple games, not very much. Even Sonic. I've taken a round yeah, off of Sonic. even Sonic. Um, that's that's all better that. than a lot of people. Um, that's true. He's going to tweet that I have it, but I have. 
Um, <laughs> he might have been giving it to me. And but he can hold that. I will say this. Wild Cowboy Shinnok was the most frustrating thing I ever played against. Um, so the big thing about Shinnok is he's one of the characters where his block advantage was toned down on his EX skulls. They're now only plus five on block. And, uh, but, so that's a big negative for him, but he also got some little pluses in other areas to make, um, make some of his lesser move, lesser used moves a little bit better. Like his 4-3 now has noticeably, noticeably better range. His amulet is now significantly safer on block and has better recovery. So like Boatwright Show, it can destroy projectiles, but the recovery was always pretty long. Now the recovery is a lot better, so it's more viable. Oh, oh, oh. Do it again, do it again. Oh. Yeah. It, yeah, it always had this ability, but the recovery kind of made it not worth doing that, so now it's a lot better. He can always do that? Yeah. Uh -oh. He's been able to do it for a while. Whoops. Huh. <laughs> I knew that. Remember that there? Yeah, he used to do it to me all the time. Oh, yeah. man. Moving on. Um, and then there's a, a, a lot of changes throughout. So for Imposter, this used to grant a long, 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 long? Uh, hit advantage where he could kind of, he could actually steal a move waste the move on purpose, and then go for another move into what we'd call a vortex, which is just a scenario where you have no option but to guess right. That's now kind of been normalized, so at the end of a combo, he won't have as much time once he steals a move before you can recover. Awesome. He's still going to be an advantage, but it won't be like the, you know, 800 frames of advantage he used to be. Yeah, it's essentially he'll just have to, he can just sort of, uh... Uh, do the fast move he can as quick and then still get you like a throw or a, a forward four, but but he won't be able to like jump over and do all the kind of shenanigans he used to do before. Same thing with teleport. Shinnok shenanigans, yeah, those shen are the worst. And then uh, in Bone Shaper, his fireball is now minus nine instead of minus twelve. Oh, but you're going off script, man. Oh, whoa. Good move, I like it. And, and you're not a Bone Shaper. I know, I just wanted to say that. I'm going to show Necromancer. Right. All right. Okay. So Necromancer, the big change, we kind of hinted at it. Well, actually, we just kind of showed it. Is that he can cancel. <laughs> His bone hands, the the stomp, or is it a stomp if it's a hand? It can, or does that specifically have to be a leg? Uh, what's the move list say? Judgment fist. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's, so it's like clearly a judgment. Okay, well, he's judging you with this bone hand fist. The hand you can not cancel this. Yeah, so last time if somebody's gonna run in and they're gonna do like an advancing move to punish you, now you can backdash it and cancel it and punish it. Or, or just sort of fake your corner out. And it needs it to go with it. Awesome. Anything, uh, anything else around there you want to go over? Or should we hit Johnny Cage? I think we're ready for Johnny Cage. All right, fist so, the buffs. Johnny Cage can do this. All right, moving on, next. Okay, okay. Cool. Yeah, what does that do for him? Um, so that'll actually let you uh, cancel your fist of cuffs uh, into any other string or, or special move. So if you go into something like that and do fist cuffs and then do that and cancel it into a string, it actually continues to combo. It's a little bit different than like, the other cancels in the game. And the actual frame you can do it is uh, at any point after you've activated, and and you can actually delay that a little bit. So you can sort of use even use it on blocks. You can do a four or three fist of cuffs, and then you can enhance it if you think your opponent's gonna do something, and then do four or three again, or do like a nut punch or a special move, or go into fist of cuffs in the corner and force them to block. But EX yeah, nut punch no longer has armor. Yeah. Huh. So ninety percent of my game. Yeah, would you yeah. nut punch followed by another nut punch? Can you still yeah. do that? You can still yeah, do you that. Well, 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 then your game's still there. If your opponent knows how to block, they'll probably get punished you. Well, I played Eric a lot, so. Yeah. <laughs> right trigger, don't use it. Speaking of punishing, we didn't talk about counter. Oh! oh. I don't okay. know if that was on the that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we did. Okay, moving on. Um, is there any other general changes or whatnot, Johnny Cage, you guys want to go over? Um, um, you can go stunt double. Yeah, stunt double. Um, when you have a mix out and you do the EX Shadow Pick, that now actually has armor. Mm hmm. Yeah, so he actually has a armored move from full screen when he's in stunt double get other variations have don't have. So it'll it'll sort of even out his variations. He has some damage adjustments to, uh, throughout uh, for for a list and um, and um, stunt double also. So those will do comparable damage. So now there isn't as much of a set. Hey, this variation is better than the other ones. We right. want to make them all even. And that's kind of more of a, a global thing too that you've been you guys have been really working for is making all the variations pretty much equal versus people kind of just pushing towards one or the other. Yeah. Right. And like we talk about a list. A lot of the changes we talked about earlier help bringing him back into comparable range with the others. Right, like Alus was a character or a variation before that was very, very strong and had overwhelming offense. But because of the change to stamina, the offense is toned down just a little bit, so it didn't really need to be adjusted that much. And then, like, 
if it's a character that zones out Johnny Cage really bad and you really want extra armor, that's another reason to use stun double. Sure. Yeah, there was a time where maybe picking a list if you had high execution. Right. Like exactly. A person like myself, for instance. Right. You would only play a list. There's right. No choice. Absolutely. Now I play the other ones to show people that there are other there are other ways. You know, there, there, there was a rumor also that his down two also is is a little bit improved as well. That is one of the ones that's. Yeah, it used to be. That was a small. rumor. I wasn't yeah, sure. It was very hard to pick up people where it's a little it's a little bit easier now to pick up people with him with a lot of a lot of other characters too. Cool. Awesome. Uh, this will be a good one here. I've said that about all of them. Well, they're all wonderful, they really but are. this one's probably the best. Uh, <laughs> Well, there's two more. So okay, I'll wait for the last one. That one will be the Duelist best. Duelist Liu Kang versus Venomous Devorah. Alright, alright. So Duelist, uh, in the gift, you could see, the idea is he can, when he has a red orb out, he can then go back to light stance and shoot a light fireball and it will ignite. It will actually blow up and launch the opponent. Yo, can I use real rap right now? Yeah. Real talk. This is a hot take. Here we go. This is a hot take. This is a hot take. I, I play this game a lot. You know that I play a lot of different characters probably to my to my undoing. Yeah. I know literally nothing about doing this game. Well, now you're going to learn something. That's, that's my hot so take. So this is exciting. That's my hot take. So the, the hot take was that you don't know what you're talking about with Duelist? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes, it was. So Duelist has two different... Uh, never mind. You can just... Duelist also does dot damage when they're hovering... Or when they're standing near the orbs. The dark orbs. And it'll also right. stop them from running in. So a lot of times if you have an orb stop, people sort of just ran in and just punished you or just ran over you when you put the orbs out. Now if there's an orb out, it's actually going to stop them from running. So you'll sort of have to get past the orb then to move in. Similar to the cow yeah. traps. And then if he shoots fireball and you happen to block the orb, he's going to be advantage on block from that exploded fireball. So it sort of gives Duelist a little bit of a keep away game, but then also keeps his very strong pressure. Awesome. Thank you again. And then Liu Kang is another character, and Duelist is another variation that benefits from some of the universe of changes, which is why, you know, there's only these specific changes rather than, you know, a huge list of buffs. Right. So since armor is not as strong, his pressure is inherently better. Sure. And then, um, anything you guys want to talk about with flame fists that have changed? Um, it's got some small um, changes where um, if you do the uh, enhanced um, uh, windmill punches, mm -hmm. uh, there's a few more frames before you can cancel out. That, that should give the opponent, or should give the opponent, um, 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 be, be able to like uh, either backdash or do an armored move uh, out of the next attack where before you can sort of just jail, jail somebody into some like uh, non-stop black pressure and do a bunch of chip damage so that's been toned down a little bit. Flame Fist also had a couple of strings that had a special ender only in Flame Fist that were previously they looked like his back to overhead but they were actually just mid. They're now actual overheads. Oh wow. So you could do uh, a little fun mix up of like 4-4 four, four, standing 2 or 4-4 four, four, low fireball and it just kind of makes sense that his back two was an overhead, and now those are two. That's cool. Very good. So, Venomous, folks. Uh, the big thing about Venomous is her EX Cut Burst move has basically been re redone as a big burst. Instead of being able to hold it, it just does burst damage. I think it does 13%. And then it actually has armor, because one of the more weaknesses across all variations was her armor was among the weaker in the game. So now Venomous has this big, big bright buggy bullet point that it has her best armor move and it's a safe on block um, armor move that does a pretty good chunk of damage yeah and along with like the uh, the run changes um, it'll, it'll give you a little bit of reason to at least look at venomous as opposed to swarm queen where swarm king has been um, hit by some of the overall like uh, just run damage changes where venomous um, relies on just other stuff for her damage so it should give people a reason to pick some of the other hitter two burning and there's a few tweaks that uh, you can read about for uh, broodmother 2 that are similar yeah cool very cool well, uh, we got one more match to show you. Then we're gonna go this one's the ball. best. We forgot one Devorah thing. Oh. The 4-2 is now a mid-attack. Okay. That's how, are you, a, how are you supposed to open to the up? Well, that's the thing. This is a good example of kind of trying to expand their move list, because her 4-3 was always a pretty good overhead. Mm -hmm. But you would never really use it because her 4-2 covered her mid-range game and was her overhead. Sure. Now, that's still a great, fast, long-range move, but it's not an overhead. So you have to actually use your four three more than you did before. Yeah, and then and then going into that on block and some some stuff with swarm queen, uh, it'll give the opponent at least a window to be able to try to do something or to back that the next thing. Look at their Twitch chat. A uh, hot take. Hot take. Du duelist now broken. Oh. <laughs> they say he's the best in the game now. He's the best in the game. Now. See, look at that broken. tier list. It's just all right. <laughs> tier list is already made. Uh, Warlock Quan Chi versus one of my favorites, 
Quatan Warrior Goro. All Prince right. Goro. Prince, the master of combat. Former champion of Mortal Kombat for nine generations. Nine generations? How long is a generation? Probably. A long time. Okay. I mean, he is very old. Okay. He was undefeated for exactly 500 years. 500, so I guess, it, you know, about nine generations? I forgot about uh, Steve's uh, lower corner. Oh, yeah. It's, now, it's hot today. Four minutes. <laughs> All right, so let's get started with um, Quan Chi. All right, so the big thing that made everyone freak out is back two is no longer an overhead. It is a bit. If you charge it, it's still an overhead. But just normally, this this strategy of just doing this and then doing meter burn runes, that why not strategy has changed. That's gone. Yeah, and that move had a very long reach and it was very right. quick. So similar, actually, being a mid, it's one of the faster and fastest mids in the game. It's supposed to be one of the fast overheads in the game. Sure. So similar to the Devora change, it's not that we, you know, don't want you to use this, but maybe think more about using it for its range and not the fact that it's an overhead. But, what? this is the context. Context spelled with a K. Oh. Forward 4 is now an overhead. Oh. And forward 4 is a few frames slower on startup, so... And you gotta be close. Yeah, and you gotta right. be close. So it doesn't have the range, but you can sort of still have that overhead option, but the opponent can sort of see that one coming and block it. And forward 4 into the runes has a gap. So... It doesn't have the range it used to have, and you can now armor through it, but he still is, you know, a good mix-up character. Awesome. So everybody, calm down. Yeah, just relax. Relax. You're on, like, DEFCON 4. Right. <laughs> um, and then there's a new sword stab. Uh, it's, it's just the, the uh, sword stab no, now has two hits of armor on it, so he actually has a good armor move. There's something to do from, uh, from max range. Um, that the other variations don't have. So like the uh, the stomp is still a pretty slow uh, armored move. Where in the, this variation it has a still pretty fast armor move on the sword stab. Um, because the the other uh, scoop, the enhanced low scoop, still launches, so it doesn't have armor anymore. Sure. It actually has three hits of armor. Yeah. What? Yeah. One of the very rare exceptions. That's wacky. Yeah. Three hits of armor. Tell me again. He's a wizard, man. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> um, Master combo combat Goro. Um, Goro is one of the characters that really benefited from uh, looking through the move list and seeing moves that could be sped up a little bit or made safer. He's got a bunch of them. His 4-2 is now faster. His 2-1-4 uh, string is now safer. His 4-3 has a noticeable range increase. Yeah, you can see. So that'll be really, really good in that kind of jump mid-range game. His fireball has been made significantly faster, including the EX one. Yeah, you can see it's definitely a lot faster. And when the patch notes come out, you can see there's like, you know, five or six different little frame changes and range changes that we made to his normal attacks. Yeah, and if you block his, um, his uh, enhanced punch walk, all six hits will actually come on a block now, doing a good amount of chip damage, but that's unsafe on block. But? But but then you can go and enhance it and then spend some meter to to become a little bit of an advantage on block. So he still has that rushing out punch walk game, but it's just you're going to have to spend your meter to do it. And he still has a, a very good armored move in the punch walk, but then he's going to have to spend an additional bar to juggle anyone else. So corner carry got a little better, even, would you say? Yeah. yeah. And another thing, just like we talked about earlier, the down-up moves that have gotten easier to do, now go, like pulling off Goro's EX uh, stomp is easier. That should be a little bit easier. Same thing we're doing on Wake Up, where yeah. if you hit down before when you're doing the block and you do like down first, um, uh, your chance of getting delayed Wake Up are reduced a little bit. Okay. And he's another character that will have uh, two hits of armor on more than one of his moves. A couple of his different moves have two hits of armor, including yeah, right. the stomp. Yeah, and his command grab and stuff. So, yeah. Right. So he's still pretty good on close. Yeah. So it's kind of like the armor, it's no longer, his armor game is no longer just punch walk, punch walk, punch walk. Why are you doing anything but punch walk? It's now, his armor will be spread around like five different moves that will be pretty good to use. Yeah, awesome. and there'll be reasons, different reasons for using each one. Exactly. And, uh... It's not just a Quaton Warrior. Uh, Tiger R. Fury had similar changes to the recovery of his Fireball, uh, his EX Breath, and there's there's various little changes that will help the high-level players. Awesome. Uh, let's go to the character select screen real quickly uh, before we close this out and kind of go over uh, just some characters we missed. Just There's some things like they're getting changes, but we can't really show them. Um, Jackie... Similar to Goro, there's nothing interesting to really show, but there's a whole bunch of little minutia of refrain data. Um, any uh, any big changes for say, Triborg? Um, Triborg's overhead, like a lot of them, has been slowed down a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think it's now like 21. Uh, the forward one three string now has more hit advantage. Now cancel advantage. So you can see in our GIF, you can now do forward one three, and then the freeze blast will actually combo. Sure. Um, um, he also had a, um, um, a lot of bug fixes where 
the, with uh, with Sub Zero and with um, Cyrax, if if you were frozen by his net and then he blocked um, any kind of delayed move on the same frame, the opponent would actually got out um, like instantly. So a lot of our designers um, have actually been fixing a lot of bugs we've seen over like since the last patch, and they've been working hard to fix some of those bugs. And a lot of those bug fixes are in this patch. Did Devora get any bug fixes? <laughs> because she has bugs, people. Yeah, we got it. Thank you. Thanks. Um, another thing with smoke, his smoke bomb now only hits like absolutely on the ground. So if you make the read that he's going to do it and you jump over it, he will not be caught. So while his like 50-50 game is still really good, the you know the risk is a little bit higher than it used to be. So like if, if he does back one smoke bomb and you don't want to armor through it, you can either jump over him and some people can actually punish him with a neutral jump punch or maybe jump over him and get your pressure going. Yeah, if you have a dive kick, you do an instant dive kick. You know, it's sort of like, because the back one's a little slower now, too, you can sort of see that coming, block it, and then you see he's going to do a smoke bomb and jump out. But I think, uh, to me, the big change with these overheads being slower is they're still great, but when you compare that with the stamina change, it'll make running up and doing your overhead less viable of a strategy, and that opens up your move list. Like, if you look at a character like Cassie, her 4-3 was extremely fast, so she could just run up and do it. It was very, very hard to react. Now her 4-3 is a little bit slower, and, you know, it takes more to start running, and it's more risky to start running. So she's going to have to condition you in the mid-range with her back one, or her jump in, or her down four, and not just run up and immediately go for her best tool. What about uh, my main man, Kano? Oh, that could have been anybody for a second. Yeah, it really could have right? been. Oh, Kano, um... My main man, Predator. Cutthroat, <laughs> Cutthroat was the main that was Justin. Uh, his back one now, only the first hit will come out on block. If he does back one, two, one, only the first hit comes out. And that's, I think, minus 15 now. So he no longer got the, he used to get the strategy. He would do his overhead. Then he would go into the EX pump up and he would continue to make you guess. Now his overhead is still, you know, it's still a good move that does good damage, but his turn is over and now you can kind of counter him. Yeah, and like some other characters, if, you, if your opponent's blocking or, or block stun, uh, when you go to do the uh, pump up um, uh, buff move, um, uh, he'll actually, he'll, Kane will actually be at some more disadvantage on block. So there's some additional recovery frames on it where he'll still be plus. He just won't be plus in the double numbers and, and force you to sort of get higher low mix ups on top of higher low mix ups. Commando. Commando, um, his armor moves have two hits of armor the grabs, the choke, and then they're pretty much the same. And he's part of that philosophy of Commando Kano. What was his real flaws is that there wasn't a lot of reason to pick him. But now, if armored launchers have been drastically toned down, Doing that, you know, 20% damage of those throws is now a much better reward than you would normally get. Yeah, which depends on what your what your um, um, opponent's doing too, where the other two current variations don't have two its armor on something. Right. So so the, that, will, that will give you a reason to play Commando. The Commando still hurts more than the other two Kano. Uh, what about, say, Master of Storms? Uh, Master of Storms, the uh, the damage, the proximity damage that it does when you're standing over one of the um, is like uh, traps. The, that damage has actually been doubled, so it, it's quite a bit of a damage increase. And uh, Raven overall has had a bunch of just uh, overall uh, um, adjustments on his uh, basic attacks. So there's a lot of moves that are either uh, safer on block or have more pushback. So that'll let you sort of overall play with his buttons while setting up the traps. It also helps the other two uh, Raven variations also. I also realized we forgot a major Lord Shinnok change. Oh, the EX shoulder. Uh, still has armor, but the, the little uh, energy blast at the end mm -hmm. is no longer part of it. You now can meter burn that and it'll actually pop you up for a combo. So like Katana, Melina, and a few other characters, Takeda, he can do his EX move to have armor, EX shoulder, and then if it hits, meter burn it and you can get a combo. And he can do that with his regular as well. So that'll, uh, it'll be a guessing game. Like he can do his low into the shoulder and then you can punish it. But if he thinks you're going to punish it, he can meter burn it. But... If he meter burns it, he uses resources, and there's a whole little guessing game. Yeah. I'm already lost. Yeah, I'm already lost on that. Um, and there's a gap there too. To add some okay, to that. great, great. Yeah. All right. Uh, and one more. Do we want to do one more? We can keep going forever if you want. We could go. Ermac. Oh, Ermac's a good one. There it is. Um, I knew I had a good one. He's another overhead that's been slowed down. I think it's a 16 frame startup now. So again, you saw a lot of Ermac players where they were just using the overhead both in their mid range game and as an overhead. So now, as an overhead, it's not quite as good as it used to be, but it'll open up using his other normal attacks. Um, his EX push in Mystic is a safe move that steals life and health, and it had massive pushback. The pushback's been adjusted just a little bit, so that you're a little bit closer. So it's still safe. It's still a tremendous armored move, which it should be. You know, he's a defensive character. But now, he's a little bit closer when he blocks it, so you can kind of counter poke him back. Okay. And uh, he's had a lot of damage scaling adjustments. Yeah. Uh, 
I feel like that. Do you feel good about that for now? Uh, yeah, a lot of it is just I'm sure people are excited to get these patch notes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the quicker time. we get done here, the quicker I can get the patch notes put up. There it is. But we do have. We do have a belt a battle. battle. Are, you, are you guys ready with these changes? Like, um, just gonna be. That's rolling? funny. That's funny that you say it because I haven't gotten really a chance to play the game. You know, I've been hard at work doing what I do. I guess. Um, and apparently, Tyler has been playing with Steve like every single day. Is that true? However, I will say in Tyler's defense, he's been experimenting with multiple characters, which is his main problem. Paula, can you please hold it? Which I won't be doing today. Multiple different characters. You left that part out as well. Well, there, there is rumors oh, of different geez. characters. I've heard rumors of Prince Goro. Okay. I've, yeah, I've heard rumors of Ermac. Okay. I've heard rumors of Ferator. Oh my goodness. Just go Jason. <laughs> Probably good. All right, you might want to check your buttons. I know how. Oops. What do you uh, do? And where did test your luck? Anyway. Test your luck. Uh, well, I didn't. I didn't start this. My bad. My bad. My bad. Okay. Good. I have to go through this again because of what you did. I right. had a real attitude to that. Uh, every day. Okay. All right. Do you want to check your buttons? Yeah. Okay, I feel good. Who should I play, Steve? I think you should just go with Johnny Cage. Johnny Cage. That's Johnny what you're known for. <laughs> that's your trademark character. Right? That's, that is what he's yeah. known for. Yeah, no, it's Johnny Cage. It was Kato. Was it for Ermac? Long it was. It was Ermac too. Was it Ferritor? It was. Might have been Ferritor. Goro. For a bit. It was Goro. Jax. Jax. I, the Jax. Was Jax was like two days. And then uh, he's like, I before the game this. was done. Dude, Jax has never looked cooler. I'm really gonna look into him. Rustler really speaks to me. Could you imagine if I did the the combo on yeah. stream? How high would it be? Which I mean, there is no chance of that. <laughs> yes. All right, here we go. So we're doing two out of three. Two out of three. Right? Two out of three. Yeah. All right, here we go. How many times do you think Tyler will do a meter burn fisticuffs cancel? Uh, so far one. Okay. Well, does it count if you just do it but don't cancel it? Well, I'm not quite ready for that yet. Okay. Oh jeez. Are you going to commentate this match like a professional speech? I always do. Great neutral jump on Oops. Drop combo. Okay, I like the plan. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That was, that was some good counters going on. Mm -hmm. No! Oh jeez, this is horrible. Now, will Derek concede the round? Oh no. Will he use, he uses resources? Very risky use of resources. EX Shadow Kick. Counters it with the low side. Eek! And no! She, she would have won if the, if the EX roll still launched on. Oh my goodness. Yes. Regular hit. Or if he had a bit. <laughs> Shut up. I didn't better, have meter, man. Yeah, a little bit of better meter management, from not just throwing out a, right. a, a enhanced side, second year meter. Der yeah, Derek belongs to the Panic Tournament player school of if I have meter, I have to be. Yes. Well, yeah. you're going to lose eventually, so you might as well spend the meter. Oh, oh, good counter. Ah, oh, drop combo though. What, what, what a monster surprise today. <laughs> oh no. Alright, Aztec statue in play. Ooh, throw. Oh, I thought I got that. Woo! I knew it was a Everybody's <laughs> applauding at home. Yeah! Thanks, guys. Fight. Wow, Tyler just going in, not afraid of that low sight at all. No cover on the down one. No meter burning the roll. The um, statue seems like a really underused right? It is really good. Yeah. It does a lot no. of damage. No. And it has a secret no. brutality. Well, it's not any more secret, right? You just told about it. A lot of characters have a lot of sickle oh, setups with yes. the statue there. Yeah. This is good. As a Tanya player, when I do her shroud, I like to go for it. Speaking of Tanya, she's another oh, character that got, when you see the patch notes, she got a lot of uh, slight damage increases to a lot of higher ranks. Which should add up. I'm very happy. What are you doing? There it is. Wow. Yeah. Faction, faction kill. kill. Faction. Yo, yo, faction kill. <laughs> Get faction killed. Johnny K. That's not yeah. a thing. No one has ever said that. Faction I said that. Kill. Well, I think you're celebrating like you won, but you only won the first game. But he got faction killed. He got that does not add a win to your win count though. You play the same character, move on. I uh, give me a second to think about it. Has he ever played a different character? Uh, he, he Luke, play, Luke Kang. I, he he, no. he okay. plays a really, really loud Luke Kang. He plays a scorpion that does nothing but four two and down four. Cool. Gosh, guys, you're so cool. <laughs> Thanks, friends. Rematch? Yes, a rematch. A, a rematch. A rematch is on. I'm ready for this. Fight. 
All right, now we've, we've been in this situation many times before where Tyler has a great opening and then uh, chokes it away. And <laughs> as I say that, he drops a gun. <laughs> what, what do you think? Has he ever hit the lead of one? I'm to uh, he has one about four of these. Okay. Perfect. Now, who do you personally root for in this matchup? The underdog, or do you always remain neutral, or what? Like, what's your mentality watching this? My mentality is always the one. Okay. Outside of the general bias for him. What about you, Steve? Um, well, I don't like Alina to win. You know, I'm a Katana player. But Johnny Cage beat me in the K9 a lot. So I guess I would be neutral. I played Dizzy the other day, remember? Mm hmm. Who took a round? You did. In the Cage Mirror. Dizzy, hold that. Round yeah. Two. I wish I could beat Dizzy. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. Well, now that he works here, he's going to get more and more washed up. Yeah, that's true. But we've seen a lot of just raw rolls here, and they seem to have a hundred percent success. He's doing it at the same time, so I, I figured that. Imagine if that roll was Right. If that had actually been true. Ooh, excellent whip punish of Tyler Swore there from Derek. It's a whip counter, not a whip punish. Oh sorry. Oh. Oh no! Oh, missed the counter. No! Oh. But there's the counter. Why am I not doing that? I'm just throwing out fall. Tyler is now openly saying, why am I doing this wall play? That's never a good sign. Oh, yes. Okay, Yig Shadow. Oh, there you go. So the, uh, armor, the armor change on the roll didn't affect uh, their escape at all. Just, no, that's... Just throw it out. Right, so far he is not... I get a scoreboard. Yeah. What's, yeah. what's the score? It's now one-to-one, -one, dead even. I think if their armor was completely gone, he'd still oh, no. wake up the extra roll constantly. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I knew it was coming. He <laughs> 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 always jumps there. <laughs> okay, fine. Oh, no. Oh, no convert, though. Oh! Come on! Mud all over. Right, right trigger! A lot of downloads. Work for me! Damn it, this is the worst game I've ever played. Derek is openly <laughs> talking about what he wants to do, but can't do because of his execution. Yes. Alligator watching on, trying to leave, doesn't want to see more of this play. I'm not playing very well. <laughs> Alligator's seen enough. <laughs> <laughs> he is just done. <laughs> the alligator's leaving to go find Sonic Fox. <laughs> oh no. Now Tyler... You know, he, he won the first game pretty well, and now we find himself Derek on, on set point right now. Good blocking. Oh, it's looking very grim here. Okay, the CX Shadow Kick's kind of his last stand. Good blocking! Oh, no. But no combo. No punish. Damn, I'm and that'll be it. Oh, good game. I didn't play very well. <sighs> da -da -da, Derek didn't either, though. Da -da -da, da -da -da, you know, sometimes in a high stakes match, it's a sloppy play, and yeah, whoever's the less sloppy wins. I can get my 1 1 1 1 3 nut punch off for any. I don't know why. Was you got the counter like half the time. I didn't do it very well, though. Well, yeah. anyway. Hey guys, um, just one thing. A lot of the, um, a lot of like um, our designers here like spend a lot of overtime and like time after work working on this patch. Like um, like Nick and Belponi, they were fixing a lot of these bugs and a lot of these gameplay changes and stuff. Um, and especially the QA team, like a lot of people just worked extra hard on this. And um, and it's something we're going to continue to keep doing is watching out for things in the game and um, stuff that like is affecting other players and um, adjusting to it. Cool, awesome. So thank you everybody here at the studio. Everybody in. Every discipline was able to help do all this sort of thing. It's great. Uh, we're very happy to show you everything we did today. Congratulations, Derek, on the belt. Jen, thank you. Thanks to Ed Boone coming in earlier. Uh, Steve, Paulo, thanks for coming by to explain yep. this, because I certainly couldn't have. Obviously, you saw my play. Um, yeah, we'll yeah. do it. It seemed like you let him win, I think. Yeah. He gets real yeah. moody right now. That's a lot true. of the Molina players were panicking, so oh. you let Molina win to show them, hey, it's going to be OK. Hey, let me, thanks, pal. Let me promise you this. Oh, that was, that was when, in, when Injustice 2 comes around, I'm working my ass off oh. to get better. I just I just said ass because I'm going to work my butt off. You're, You're serious. serious. You're serious. Like, the the depth to rush down is coming. I, I see oh, that. Boy. I see that. So again, guys, um, we're going to keep moving on this. We're going to keep paying attention to you guys, listening to you guys. Um, if anything goes wrong, we'll be totally paying attention to this patch. And so, SCR coming up? Yep. Should we hit him with the DK out? 
Hey. There it is. Yeah, that's good. I'll be tweeting out, so will Ed. Everybody else will be tweeting out the patch notes as soon as they're available. I'm going to do that right now.